Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here, bringing you another episode of our The Council Let's Play, and we're going to continue right where we left off. Um, I will admit, I did go and look this one up. There's no way I would have gotten this one otherwise. Um, you basically have to take the numbers that were on the other side and add five uh, to the numbers on this side, and they're upside down. So we have to put in 9949, nine, it's going to look like 6646. Six, um, and then we should pull this. This looks like the same mechanism as the one on the other side. Yes, I kn we know this. Lower the lever. No, I did it right. Uh-oh. We're trapped now. We got claustrophobic. <laughs> I did it exactly Holy how we were supposed to. I'm cornered like a rat. I don't get it. I did it exactly how we were supposed to. How <laughs> the guide said. They lied to me. Well. Someone's coming. Please don't let it be Mortimer. Who is it? Deliberately avoiding me. Four years ago I was his favorite, but nowadays I have to ask for an audience with his Lord Jeff. Damn it! It's Peru. Call for help. Uh, I keep quiet. I don't know if I should, but... Well, that's it. I've had enough of being humiliated. I'm wasting my time here. After everything I've done on his behalf, he dares treat me like a lackey? I've bled the Parisian elite for the sake of his whims, and what have I got to show for it? He doesn't even have the courtesy to give me five minutes of his time. I wanted to put my mind at ease. Well, that's done. I know what I've got to do now. I must find my mother. Uh, so much for discretion. Monsieur Peru, it's me. Mr. De Riche, what the devil is going I on? need your help. <laughs> Where are you, De Riche? Behind the painting. Open it, please. I've shut myself in. There's a pedal under Lord Mortimer's desk. Can you see it? There's no... Hang on. Yes. Good. Now press it. Yeah, yeah. Done. You should see something resembling a frame with numbers. Yes? You have to turn them to set the combination. It was 1191. 1191. One, one. <clears throat> I get it. It was, you had to do the 9499. So I had the combination, Ron. I read the guide, Ron. <laughs> Oops. Well, well, poking our nose into Mortimer's little secrets, are we? You do surprise me. It's not what you're thinking. Does he like us I'll now? Explain everything. No, <laughs> you will not, sir. It has nothing to do with me. And by the way, I never even saw you. So <laughs> I'll be on my way now. What a bro. Thanks again. I owe him one. I'm indebted to you. I won't forget this. Yeah. Goodbye. Well. I wasted enough time. I better get moving if I want to find my mother. Can I take this? No. We're full on all our stuff. Find out the origin of the sword left by your mother. How in the world would I do that? I should have kept the guide up. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it won't let us go someplace that is not going to... Oh, the nightmare. I met Manuel Godoy. I got some information out of Von <laughs> Wolner. I found the nightmare that my mother mentioned. I got to know Waldo. I found a way of getting into the secret study. I got locked into Mortimer's secret study. I had a strange conversation with Jacques Peru. Cool. Cool. 
All right, we can get some more here. We've got four points available. How many does this take? One, two, three. Let's get that manipulation. Um, I kind of want to get this one too. There, validate. And what book do we want to read? We got one on encyclopedia, science, linguistics, erudition, questioning, erudition, questioning, linguistics, erudition, diversion. Let's do that one. Start quest. Oh, manuscripts to equip two. Politics. And I want, I still want etiquette again. Okay. I didn't know we could do more than one book. This Apprentice. This is about a meeting with Lord Mortimer. There's no doubt about it. All right, I need to find out where the sword that came with it's from in order to find Mother. Find out the origin of the sword. You're choking, I hope. Don't tell me you've done that. Really? How do you expect me to guess? Oh, for God's sake, just ask them. I'm gonna, s I'm gonna spy on them. We must absolutely inform Sir Gregory. How long has he been trying to collect all the spears? I must have brought him the first one 20 odd years ago. Do you know if he has managed to get the original? Well, in any case, he's got all the ones we had at the Vatican. He made me replace them with copies. But I don't understand your reaction. I'm sure it is nothing serious. Uh -huh. I can see very well you do not understand. You have done nothing to notice us. sign our death warrants, and still you don't understand. I... Someone is listening. What? Monsieur de Richet, why not join us rather <laughs> than find yourself eavesdropping? Well, I, I, I didn't want to interrupt you. I, I'm sorry. Of course you didn't. So, my son, what can we do for you? Um, do you know about the stone sword? I was wondering sword? if you might have seen an object like this here at the manor. What are you playing at, Deriche? I'm afraid I can't help you, my son. Ask someone who knows the manor better than I do. One of the servants, for example. One of them is bound to help you. Thank you for your advice, your eminence. Go deeper into their discussion. I didn't mean to spy on you, but you caught my attention. Um, it seemed important. Your Eminence, I don't know what you said to Mr. Von Volner, but the poor fellow looks positively crestfallen. Not at all. No, don't, don't you believe it, Louis. I was just telling Monsieur about Lord Mortimer's burning passion for holy relics. You must have noticed he's a bit of a collector. Well, for years he has been searching high and low to bring all the copies of the Holy Spear together. As I was coming here, I thought I'd bring him a few of them. That's all. Be quiet, for God's sake. Uh, please leave us, monsieur. His eminence and I wish to finish our discussion alone. All right. Um, let's see if we can find a servant. What dinged? Oh, that. Down here? Hello. Can I speak with you? I am sorry, sir, but the conference room is under preparation and is consequently inaccessible to guests. Speak about the sword. Could you perhaps help me? What can I do for you, sir? Where did this sword come from? From the garden, sir. That sword belongs to one of the statues in the garden. Thank you very much. Don't mention it, sir. Okay. Follow the trail left by your mother. So we gotta go to the garden. Can I pick this up? No. And we're full. How do we get to the garden? <laughs> this is Thursday. We got a coin. Here's a book. The locksmith's art. 
What's this? A garden by any chance? No. <laughs> it's definitely not a garden. Oh, hey, George. Um, is this, is like this a garden out here? The song of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near. His brain is oozing by either ear. With huh. his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. Have we been in this room before? I don't I don't want to sit. That's the garden out there, I bet. Um, but I want to talk to George. Is everything all right, my young friend? Wonderful. Isn't that lovely? Well, see you later. Oh. <laughs> Dismissed. <laughs> Anything else in this room? Not really. Can we go out here? To the garden. The sword probably came from this garden, but what could it have been used for? Uh, is this a maze? Oh God. Oh, hello. Can't pick up anything. We're full on stuff. Alright. There's nothing that way. There's a statue there. Oh. Uh, around this way. Here. Um. Icarus. Hello, Icarus. Son of Daedalus and Nocrate. Impossible to mistake him with those wings. After flying too close to the sun, they came unstuck and he fell to his death. Pity. Translate the plaque. I am the innocent one, sacrificed for the sins of the father. Okay. Well, let's keep going. Okay. Um, let's go this way. Nope. What about this? Theseus, son of Aegeus. He's the one who slayed the Minotaur. Hmm. Translate the plaque. Wrongly positioned. I am the blind hero. Hmm. I wasn't expecting an inscription like that. It's gonna take three. Notice the crack? Looks like a crack has been made on his torso. Thrust the sword in the... No! Ah. Uh, we'll come back. I wonder if Mother managed to solve this enigma. I want to look at the other... This guy over here first. Pasiphae. Daughter of Perseus. And sister of Circe. She married Minos and became the queen of Crete. Deliverance alone suffices not to wash away my humiliation. All right, well, let's continue, anyways. Is there any that we haven't looked at? That guy over there. Um. Uh oh, we're in the center. I wonder what this kiosk is doing in the middle of the garden. Too cramped to be able to do much. Well, there must be something going on there. What is that? Looks like a sort of opening mechanism. Can we put our hand there? I can't press it. It's up to the just to deliver judgment. Truth unlocks all possibilities. Hmm. It looks like this slab moves. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a passageway underneath it. Okay. I want to...
I want to get to that other statue. Oh, there's another statue over here, too. Hmm. Uh-oh. Peru is over there. Who's this? Ariadne. Oh. In Greek mythology, she helped Theseus get through the labyrinth. Hmm. Looks like there's a crack in the region of the heart. I guide this sword that will kill the monster. <gasps> the sword! Remember your lessons. Let's do this one. If I recall the Iliad, Ariadne is none other than the daughter of Minos and Pasiphae. She was in love with Theseus and helped him in his quest to kill the Minotaur in return for a promise of marriage if he defeated the monster. She gave him a reel of thread so that he could find his way back through the labyrinth, which was famous for being unsolvable. But once the beast was slain, the gallant was quick to abandon her on an island. Turns out heroes are not what they once were. So we can follow her thread? Let's see. She's got a crack too. Okay. Um, I would like to follow the thread. Here's the famous Ariana's thread, thanks to which, if I remember rightly, Theseus avoided getting lost in the labyrinth. Okay, we're gonna follow it. Well, it goes to a dead end. <laughs> okay, we can't follow it. Hey, Jacques. Well, Monsieur de Richet, what brings you here? And yourself? To tell the truth, I was wondering the same thing about you. It's rare for guests to wander about in the garden. I wanted to be alone for five minutes. You look worried. Worried? No. Resolved would be a more exact term. Resolved to do what? What's the point in answering? You wouldn't believe me anyway. I'll be leaving now because whatever it is you're up to, I do not want to know. Be seeing you. <laughs> Opportunity. Tell me, aren't you even curious? Curiosity killed a cat, Monsieur de Richet. I admit, I may have judged you wrongly. Watching you seek out Mortimer's little secrets might even be amusing if I didn't already know the consequences. What consequences? See you later. What do you mean by consequences? You seem exhilarated by all this. But if you continue down that path, you'll end up selling your soul to him too. Well, I warned you. Good luck to you, monsieur. Interesting. Okay, I want to get to that statue in the back, but how to do? Hmm. Oh, here's the thread. Can we get it back this way? Nope, and this just leads to the dead ends. Maybe I can... I think I see. We're back where we started. <laughs> Who has just like a maze in their backyard? You know? Can I look back there? I can't get back, can't sneak through there. Um. All right, let's go back to her. We want to go this way. Nope. This way. 
We want to go this way. Daedalus. Daedalus. He's the architect of the labyrinth. And if I'm not mistaken, he's also the father of Icarus. Translate the plaque. I am the architect of my own demise. Observe the crack. Hey, he has a crack too. There's a crack in this statue too. Return. Okay. Um, what was over here? Oh, a royal jelly that we can pick up, but we can't get back there. Oh. How do I get... There's a statue back there. How do I get back... Here. This way. Who's this? Minos. Minos. Son of Zeus in Europa. If I remember correctly, he was the king of Crete. Married to Pasiphae, he had many children, including the famous Ariadne. Whom history remembers for her thread. Okay. Hey, there's a crack in that statue. Why did you point that out without me looking at it? His gesture sealed his fate. His gesture sealed the fate. In mythology, King Minos was known as a wise and just king, despite the fact that he deceived Poseidon. As punishment, his country was devastated by the white bull of the sea god, and his wife became passionately in love with it. From their union, he's Asterion got a born, sword in him. Sadly known to us as the Minotaur. The illegitimate child, the child of shame, who had a sorry fate. And to think that Minos ended up as a judge of the underworld. Decidedly, the high and mighty always managed to get away with it. So he pointed out the crack. The crack is in the region of the heart. I'm going to try this one because he pointed it out without. <gasps> I heard a click. Can I take this? I know we're over on our time, but I heard a click. Um, can I do something with this now? Press. Oh, first try. Awesome. Uh, there's blood on the wall. Oh, snap. We're going to head down these stairs. Uh oh. Don't trip and fall. Again? <laughs> Yikes. I... You can't be serious, Manuel. You know that's not going to happen. He's seen something. You must leave me alone now. I have agreed to everything. Even to agreed? I wasn't aware you had a choice. What's going on here? I... What now? What else must I do to win back my freedom? Obey me. Now get out! Obey me? Who does that guy think he is? <gasps> what was that? That's the third time in three days. Yikes. Okay, let's go down the stairs. Uh-oh. Let's see if you're, you're in there, Mother. Okay, here we are. Search the crypt. What's this? Amber crystals. Nice.
bandages? Hmm, someone's been patching themselves up. Looks like my mother took advantage of being in hiding to change her bandages, huh? This is silk. She must have used her own clothes. Notice something. Hmm, there are patches where the blood isn't totally clotted. That's a good sign, right? She changed them recently, which proves she's still looking after herself and still believes in her chances. Well, I'd love to tell her to keep hanging in there. Okay. Is this something down here? Yeah. Collector coins. Uh, there's a dead guard. Or a dead servant right there. Damn it, mother. Now what's happened? Uh oh. Who's sneaking up on us? I eavesdropped on the conversation between Piagi and Wolner. I convinced Piagi to reveal some important information to me. I inspired Peru to trust me. I succeeded in opening the entrance of the crypt without getting the statue, Ron. I could have found someone important in the crypt. Oh, God. Oh! That was so good. Okay, so I'm probably going to tack this on to the uh, last episode. So guys, thank you so much for all your support on this series. Um, season or Episode 3 is not out yet at the time of recording this. So we will see when, see you when Season 3 comes out. So thanks guys so much for all your support. If you do want to see more of the console Let's Play when it comes out, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Alright, bye bye everyone.